an audition. You're representing the Abbey Lee Dance Company. You shouldn't have wasted my That's time. That's not true. Give her a second chance. Objection. It's a huge part of the business. When she's on Broadway, call me. She's not going to work on this team, girlfriend. Hi. Everybody was nervous about the audition to begin with. My neck looks like shaking. All right, we're ready to begin. Let's go. Chloe. Abby made Chloe go in first because she's her guinea pig. Chloe, you're fine. Go. Chloe, don't cry. Stop crying. Hey, how are you? Good. What's your name? Chloe. Hey, Chloe. Nice to meet you. I've never danced in front of a Broadway agent before. And I really want to do good for Miss Sabby and my mom. Sometimes, you know, when the pressure's on, I, I have seen Chloe either rise to the occasion or kind of crumble under the pressure. So, you know, it, it's always a toss-up. Good job. Cool, Chloe. Thank you. Thank you. Nia, let's go. It's really scary auditioning for the first time. I wish my mom were here. Do you sing? I was doing my best, but I just got nervous. Can I stop? We can stop, we can stop, we can stop, we can stop. Just stop, yeah. Brooke and Paige are performing in front of Caesar, and I'm a nervous wreck. We have not had a lot of time to prepare. Abby's on a rampage. Um, I just hope that they're performing OK for Caesar. Are you Paige's sister? Yes. How is it dancing with your sister? She gets rather annoying. <laughs> she does? <laughs> I am very disappointed in my girls at the audition. It should have been a piece of cake for them. But instead, they got in there and acted like they had no idea what they were doing in front of Caesar. Yeah, no matter what they ask you, yes. Put the S on it. Let me hear it. Yes. Yes. Can you sing? Yes. Can you dance? Yes. Hey, baby. This is How Mackenzie Ziegler, and this is Vivi Ann. Hey, Mackenzie. Can I take your picture? I have a question. Do either of you sing? Mackenzie, do you want to sing a little bit? Yes. No? Yes. You can sing anything. You, if you don't want to sing, you don't have to. You don't want to? Didn't we just have a little chat in the other room about if you asked you anything, you'd say yes? I'll tell you what. Your mother, her money that she spends on voice lessons? Yeah, Abby, can just, I, I appreciate you bringing them in, just if you can step out, just because they get nervous. Next time I see you, you're going to sing for me, right? You promise? I was very frustrated because I pay for her to get voice lessons every week. We just went over and you just sang it in there. Give me No more. I'm not paying for you to sing anymore. Did it just Okay, Ken. Okay. Okay, walk away from me, please. Maddie. Take it out. I know, you, I know you're nervous. Just breathe, breathe. So don't be so nervous. You just come in, have fun, be yourself, OK? Thank you so much, Maddie. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. When we arrive at the MSA audition, it's like a cattle call. There's tons of dancers, little kids, teenagers. There's parents everywhere. You can kind of feel that electric energy in the air. Everybody wants this. Everybody who's here is here for the same reason we are. All right, so in an audition setting, paying attention is key, all right? We want to take our time so that you guys can get the combo well. So your timing is one, two, three, and four. We are having to learn the combination really fast, and it's actually pretty long. And then we go, have to go and audition for the agents. So that's a little nerve wracking. From the top, five, six, seven, and eight. Go switch, drop, pull, switch, switch. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Usually, the way an audition works is the girls learn the choreography in big, huge groups. You could take 100 kids in at a time. Then they start to cut, and they break it down into smaller groups to actually go in and audition. <laughs> we'll get to that. Music, let's give it a go. You all right back here? What's wrong? You don't know it? That's OK. Do as much as you can, OK? I want you to try for as much as you can. Don't worry about it. Here we go. It's not fun for everyone. When you go into an audition, they're going to look you up and down and say, yes, yes, no, thank you, you can leave, yes, yes, maybe. 
and whisper about you right in front of you. At the end of the audition number, we had, I think, 16 counts to improv, which was very good because Abby had prepped us. I pulled out all my tricks, and I feel like I kind of saved myself. So when the auditions are over, Julie McDonald, the owner of MSA, wants to see our girls individually as a group, but she wants just them to come back in and talk with them, which is amazing in its own right. Hi, Hi everybody. I'm Julie McDonald, and I'm the co-owner of MSA, McDonald Selznick Associates. So we've seen a lot of dancers come through our agency. One thing that you're learning about is that rejection is a huge part of the business. But we do have amazing news for all of you ladies, and that is that there's a new and upcoming pop star that has a music video coming up, and they're looking for a girl dance group, and we all think that you ladies would be perfect for that. Wait, 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 I get my 10% back up. <laughs> you know, here we are in Hollywood, there's ups and downs, and MSA told the kids that they would be starring in a music video. All of them. They went ballistic. They were screaming and yelling. I was screaming and yelling. It was like we won the lottery. It was amazing. We didn't make it. <gasps> very excited about things, but being in a music video is pretty exciting. <laughs> you all realize why you're here. You're auditioning for a spot on the Abby Lee Dance Company's competition team. It is not to be taken lightly. We're here to audition. I really can't believe that we have to audition. We've been here for four years, and I think it's, you know, ridiculous that we have to wait in this line with all these people. They're all strangers. She should just be in the group. This is it. Dance for your life. It's party time, all the girls and the girls are about to shine. Ladies, stand up, cause it won't be long. My eyes are roaming the classroom. Seven, eight, nine, here we go. I'm gonna let you go. 478, you're done. 276, you're done. I immediately took notice of about five dancers. That would be a nice fit. Now I need to see them jump, I need to see them turn, I need to see them kick. Come on, girls, give it to me. That's not enough right now. Around at all the moms, it was weird to picture any of them being part of our group. I mean, we're such a close knit group, and just to let an outsider in is going to be really hard. All right. I'm a little worried about the new mom joining the group just because I'm constantly looking over my shoulder with Melissa, and if I've got another one, I can only look one way at a time. Get my little baby up there. Face directly to the back. Good Lord, it's like they're like in a cattle auction. As you know, we were looking for one person. 230, 201, 479, step forward. Peyton, you know I love you. You're just not right for this particular competition team, so I have to let you go. It's just not fair. I think Peyton was just too tall. And I know you don't want to hear that, but... Well, then put her on it some other way. <sighs> Relieved? 201, 479. Sadly, I have to let you go. Thank you very much. 230. Congratulations! so excited for Kendall. All of her hard work had paid off, and I know what she's going to do with this team, and I know that they're going to love her. She's going to come in tomorrow. I need her for a private right after school. I'm going to teach her a solo, and then I'll be here to have her in private. Thank you. All right. Hey, by the way, congratulations Thanks. again. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Hi. Um, I just need you to explain a few things to me. I don't understand. No, 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 no. Why cat pain? She's just too tall. 
Come on, find, you're Abby Lee Miller. Find a spot for her. She didn't make it for the first cut. She just doesn't fit she, into that team. She looks too why old. Why not? Isn't she it dances what you very can do? mature. I spend tons of money. And you I know, know what? What? you're a very good customer. I'm not dumb enough. The kid was great. Well, then tell me. I what told her she was great. What is it going to take? You'd have to cut her in half. She's through it puberty. It doesn't matter. You should find her a spot. Are you bringing these strangers? Those three girls left after you cut her? Wait, the strangers. Well, you don't know what they're like. You don't know what that. Wait, is the one going to come from Ohio? You have no idea what these people are going to do for you. Leslie. Everything for you. Leslie. What? Calm down. Bull crap. I do everything right. You need to go home and rethink this. Try to sleep on your pillow and think about what you did to me and to Peyton tonight. Leslie. No, Peyton is too old to dance with those little kids. Find her spot, Abby. Find her spot. She walks in the door, and I immediately recognize her. She is one of Abby's dancers. I mean, they compete. You'll be able to compete here. We don't know what's going to happen. You don't even know if she's going to ask you to stay. After all of Abby's abuse, kicking Peyton off the team and disrespecting me, I want to show Abby that we can find another studio to compete at. And the fact that there's space available at Kathy's Candy Apples, icing on the cake. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. I want to make my mom happy. But I'm not sure how I feel about dancing for the candy apples. I know it's up to you, but I really want you to compete, because you know in your heart you really want to compete. Uh -huh. okay? okay? All right. Strike your best pose right now. Hit it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. She had a great face and a great body, and she was just selling herself. I'm definitely going to offer Peyton a spot on the team. What a coup if we can get her, and she's from Abby Lee. Kind of a win-win situation for me. I get to give Abby the old little stab in the back ruski, and I pick up another dancer who's got some fine qualities. Hey, Peyton. Hi. Awesome job today. Thank you. I want to know if you would be interested in being on Team Apples. Um, I would definitely have to think about it. Are you a spy? No, no. So what you want back then? I just miss my friends. Uh, it's a long drive from where I live. It's mind-boggling to me that here's this kid that's got an opportunity to come over to a dance studio that's nothing but positive, and I walk up and I'm like, you know, what the heck? What are you guys doing? Hey. Come on. What are you doing? She's just not 100% ready to just come here and compete. <gasps> Peyton, Peyton, you shouldn't have wasted my That's time. That's not true. Thank As you a guys. dance educator, Thank you guys. should not be saying it. You should say it was my privilege to teach your daughter something. I I that should not be your answer. If Leslie, you were a positive I, educator, I you should not have taken that route. Leslie, honestly, you are way too much like the Pittsburgh dance moms for me. So I loved you. You can't handle me? Thank you. OK, Kathy. I loved you, and thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Kathy. So Candy Apples isn't the place for us. But my daughter is a star. I'm sure of it and I won't quit until I find a place for her to dance. Girls, remember, you're not just representing yourself. You're representing the Abby Lee Dance Company. All right, now if I could get number 247 over here, please. From fifth, fifth position, Tondu and close, Tondu and close. Let's see, number 250 was popping her foot out and bringing it back. Oh, so sorry, that's your child. Kathy. Kathy, is that what you guys can say? You're not even supposed to be watching, aren't you? The teacher well, then shouldn't stop you know that. Your head in. I what? Didn't. I just turned right. around and what? looked for you. I don't see a sign that says no teachers allowed. It's just etiquette. No, no, no. no. You don't you know what? look in you on an audition, listen. or let alone a dance class. Take some of that tension out of the shoulders there. Lift up through the back of that neck. Pull the stomach in. Good. Work through that foot each time. Well, that's all. Put the bobby pins in your hair. Kathy, are you going to use that for later? Yep. Honey, I, I just so want to have style, and oh, you don't. Oh, Kathy, I suggest you shut your mouth and walk away Oh, from why? Are you going to beat me up? Kathy comes in, and she talks about my manners and my etiquette, and she cannot conduct herself like a human being. And I'm trying to sit there and ignore her, but my god, it's like needles on a chalkboard. Finally, I'm just like, ah! You don't even know me. I can read you like a book. You are so full of Please be gone. Oh, nice language. I know. I That's what you from always you. have to. No, you didn't. Up and over to the bar. Lengthen up out of that side. Keep those stomachs strong. Kathy, let's tone it down a notch. You're at the Joffrey Ballet. A little decorum, please. And we've got Abby, who's screaming, "Be quiet!" Oh, 
quiet. Yet yeah, it's her voice that you hear. There's an audition going News on flash. right behind the door. Shush! I'm not, not the one that's always drunk and can't take care I'm of my kids. I'm not drunk kid. and I can take oh, care of everybody. but you've always got a drink happy. in your hand. You embarrass yourself every time you open your mouth. Pardon me one moment, please. Ladies. Thank We're having you. a ballet class in here. Thank you. If you don't respect me and you don't respect these girls, respect don't only talk the to me. art form. You, need to talk to her as you just well. got my focus, everybody. Please. I was beyond mortified. And I was just so mad that I let Kathy get the best of me. I had no intentions of that. Thank you all for coming in. We will let you know. Oh, okay. I don't know why Abby constantly insists on bringing new people in. It's bad enough when she brings people in from the studio that we know and have danced with. Now she's bringing a stranger in. I just think it's crazy. Come on over here to the bar. Let me see fifth position. Tondu. And let me see a rendez jambe. I asked Nakaya to execute a few ballet steps. I want to see if she has a foundation, if she knows her terminology. And can you spell rendez jambe? You have to know the names of everything. We're really into terminology here. It's good that girls want to try out for our team, but I don't really want a new team member right now because I'm perfectly fine with all my friends. Do you do any acrobatics or gymnastics? No. None? No. Now I'm beginning to wonder about this girl. Is she for real? Is she an advanced student? Or is she just a recreation student that goes once a week whose mother's trying to get her onto a competition team? Second, second. She's going to audition, or? I think she should just start choreographing a routine and just put her in it, because her testing to see how flexible she is is not really. There's a lot of other kids who want to dance on this team, so I don't know why she would just get to walk in and be on it when there's other kids who've had to go through auditions. Other kids don't have a resume like her. So I'm going to call your mom down. Okie doke. Well, Abby wants me to come down. Oh, good luck. Good luck! I ain't scared of her. God, she's a loose can't. You never know what's coming well, out of her mouth. That's true. No matter how serious? nice, how mean. The yeah. recital was boring, and every, all these kids need help to perform. She's not going to work on this team, girlfriend. She knows zero terminology. My kids are the whole package, not just little bits and pieces. When my kids leave here, they have a career, a livelihood, forever. I don't think that these spelling tests and all this other stupid dance terminology is relevant. What I personally want Abby to do is stick my daughter's damn dance CD in her and watch her dance. You're the professional. You've been doing this all this time. You create stars, so why would I question what you're saying? Yay! Hallelujah! We have a winner! Don't just discount Yay! her all the way. Can you come back tomorrow? Yes. So, come back, bring her in tomorrow. I'll have more time. I just heard her say. I heard her say, tomorrow. come back tomorrow, but why? You don't get to just come and be on the team. Our girls are two weeks from nationals. Why Abby would ever consider adding a new girl to the team right now is beyond me. That does not make any kind of sense whatsoever. Are you ready to dance? Today is the big day. My first open call audition for the Abby Lee Dance Company. I know there's a lot of talent out there. I am going to find kids who want to get better, who want to attend booty camp, who want to give me their very best. Hello! Come on, let's go, let's go! File down here! My name is Abby Lee Miller. I'm here from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is a real audition. This is for a job. I hope that everybody is here because they want to be a part of the Abby Lee Elite Competition Team. I'm not looking for somebody to be second place. I'm looking for somebody that can be my first place when Maddie's not dancing. Watch Maddie, ready? Let me see what you got. Music, five, six, seven, eight, and a one, and a two, and a three, and four. The team I have right now is way too comfortable. I want new members who stretch every night before they go to bed. I want kids who can learn a routine in one day and compete at the next. I want it all. It's gonna get ugly in here. It's right now, one shot you have. All right, let's go. Let's start cutting these kids. Five, six, seven, eight, and... Hold! Everybody else better be thinking, thinking, thinking. What did
did they do right? What did they do wrong? How can I learn from them? You're gonna stay, you're gonna stay. You're gonna stay. The boys, I'm gonna keep. Go ahead over there. You're gone. It's not your dancing, it's this. You gotta use your face. It has to change. And the people that I didn't keep, go back to your moms. Thank you. Everybody, hands over your eyes. You're staying, you're staying, you're staying. You can go, you can go. You could dance next to Maddie. I'm gonna let you go, you have to work on your turns. You need to figure out which arm you're using at the end. You're staying, you're staying. Everybody else is dismissed, they can go. You guys hang out over there. One more chance, please, Abby. One more chance. When she's on Broadway, call me, I'll get tickets. Let's go. Words of advice, don't pick Abby. Don't speak for your kid. She hates when you're talking for your kid. I don't know who this kid's mom is, but she's leaving with me anyway. I'm, that's Fallon, I'm her mother. Which studio? She is with New Dimensions currently. Currently, what does that mean? Oh, we previously came from a studio for three years with Studio 5D, and then this past year, she's been with New Dimensions. I didn't hop, I got kicked out of my previous studio. Oh, oh. <laughs> There were some amazing kids there, and I just can't wait to see what the future holds for them. Moms, be warned. The ALDC is about to change. I just want kids that want it, that want to be the very best that you can be. And I'm a firm believer in working smart, not always working hard. You are Orlando's finest. Don't leave an audition thinking I could have done better. You have to do your very best. Hey! Thank you, everybody. Thanks for coming out today. This is an audition. The Abby Lee Dance Company is looking for replacements. The time has come. Lazy slugs need to go. Spread apart. Hurry up, hurry up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're in Atlanta for my second round of auditions. Melissa and Holly are here to help me. Now, we have a great turnout. There's tons of kids here, and I'm looking for the best possible replacements. I'm looking for kids with high kicks, overstretched splits, great flexibility, and they've got to have the look. So, the girl with the bad haircut, get out here. Whose parent is this? You are limiting her marketability. You are limiting the job she can get with the look. Yes. Our kids are all American girls. They don't color their hair, they don't crimp their hair, and you know, they follow the rules. I don't know if she would do that. One, two, three, four. Red shorts in the back. Right split, left split, straddle split. Mandatory. Dancer. Yes. Go. 16. That's not a front split. Goodbye. Nine, zero, zero. Go. 406. Goodbye, honey. Thank you for coming. Don't call me, I'll call you. The games have just begun. And face front. 23, great outfit. You're going home. 26, too advanced for you. 425, went the wrong direction. 202, 405, 201. You were a hot mess. Thank you all, ladies, you can go. What's this little one's name here, 003? I loved you. You were great until you screwed up that whole jeté change directions. Get down here. There are so many kids to go through. Some of these kids are just incredible talents, but they might not be right for my team. There's gonna be a lot of broken hearts here today. I don't know who your dance teacher is. Have you been wearing purple all day? Yes. Why would you change your clothes? You are the girl in the purple to my assistant. 
to me. You're the girl in the purple, the amazing girl in the purple. Goodbye. Dumb. Don't okay. ever do Come that on, again. Lena. She's way too talented. Her teacher said, let them see your body more. So I took her shirt off. That was because I wanted to see her physique more. That wasn't her fault. I thought this was a dance audition. This is not what I expected. This kind of pandemonium, this calling out. This is like the Jerry Springer of dance. I'm like, this is not appropriate for dance. If you put her beside Maddie and those other girls, she's built just like them. She looks good. Put her beside me and they're built exactly the same. Selena, I want to take you home with me just to get you away from She looks exactly the same. Yes, please take her. This is the first audition I've ever been to, and I'm shocked. I cannot believe Abby is tolerating this behavior from these moms. She definitely needs to take control of the situation. Not her fault. Not her mistake. Sweetheart, I feel very sorry for you right now, but it's a learning lesson. When you go to an audition, whatever you have on, they love it, they keep you, you stay in that same exact look. Jelena, go calm down. And when the 12-year-olds dance again, you join them. Wait, wait, where are you going? How old are you? 11. I have my age 11. I believe I can work hard and train out hard and one day be able to beat whoever I need for you. Give her a second chance! behavior from the people attending this audition. I mean, if you can't even keep your mouth shut while your kid's auditioning, why would I ever bring you back to Pittsburgh with me? All right, listen up. I have given second chance after second chance after second chance. This is it. We're moving on. You get cut, take it like a professional, walk out, and learn from it. I don't want this chaos. There aren't any more second chances here. If you're cut, you're cut. If you're asked to go, go. 4.09, it's time to go. 17, goodbye. I've managed to whittle out the week. Now I have the best of the best in Atlanta. Once I finish my open call auditions in three cities, then I'll make my final decision. Two down, one to go. So here we are, my final open call audition in New York City, home of the Great White Way. I have sent many a kid here to become a Broadway star. Hi. Hi, girls. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Maybe you'll be replacing her. She will. Seeing all these kids here is really exciting. I am giving them the opportunity of a lifetime to become a member of the brand new Junior Elite Competition Team. Okay. Let's go. You ready? But the girls don't know the dance. Yeah. What, what can't you do? You can't do a torch day? No, what I'm saying right. is before you took the other girls to demonstrate, you taught them the combo. You didn't have them learn it out there with the rest of the kids. They're their demonstrators. So what do you want me to do? I want you to teach the kids before they go out there. I think it's embarrassing that you want to send your kids out not knowing it. I think it's embarrassing that they're wearing my clothes. I brought stuff to change. Would you like them to change? Take it off. You can take yours off, too. Now, right there, that is wanting those kids to look stupid by not teaching them the routine. All right, let's go. You're not replaceable. You're irreplaceable. What? And who cares? You want to be replaced anyways. So hope she finds somebody as amazing as you. It's ridiculous. We bring our kids to dance class for extracurricular activity, and they're scared. Back up, Squidward. Arms in seconds. We're here with you. Don't be scared. Don't cry. Don't be scared. Anybody holding a title? I have dancers from all over the USA trying out here today, and the talent is overwhelming. Up, up, down, down, jete, you. 628, you're fabulous. Come sit over there. 
I'm seeing straight legs, pointed feet, beautiful posture. But no dancer is ever perfect, especially if they haven't taken class from me. And bring it down five, six, seven, and eight. Finish. All right. You are being kept. Go stand with them. All right. Overall, I am spoiled to have this many kids who want to be part of the Abby Lee Dance Company. She's exquisite. I've been trying to build a team of Maddies for years, and now I'm gonna do it. 16, 22, you quit in the middle. I don't need quitters. Kelly quits every year. And this new team will be unstoppable. 626, find a new dance studio, sweetheart. A really good one. What, what was the issue? That's what I would like to know. The feet and the right shoulder. From what I saw, Paige, her Alsa Combs were horrendous. No offense or anything. She she does 10 times better Alsa Combs than what Paige did. Paige, can Paige come on out here. Come on back, 626. Five, six, seven, and up, up, down, down, and one, two, three. Good job, Paige! Thank you very much. You can go. Take no and go home gracefully. You're embarrassing yourself. Turn around. You know what Abby always says? She can talk about her dancers, but nobody else can. Go. See you later. <laughs> I'm here in the studio today because it's Mac Z's video auditions. We're looking for girls to dance back up for Mackenzie, and I want to make sure the right kids are picked. And I think that Mackenzie could be a star. You were all invited here to be in a video for Maxi. Everybody spread apart. Very good. Number four, I'm gonna let you go. Bye. All right, see you later, you have to go. I think she just has a great look. Okay. So number six, you and your mom can leave. Thank you very much. 19, I am gonna use you to do some of the stuff on the bed with the younger people. Clearly Abby doesn't want anyone cuter than Mackenzie in the music video, because why else would you cut Chloe? You said one is a yes, three is a yes, 22 is a yes. What are you gonna do about your sister? I guess she's a yes. Do you really want her in the video? I mean, I could use her as a helper. She could assist. That's my help. Number 13. We feel that you may be better served as an assistant during the shoot rather than actually on camera. Maybe she should be on camera. Yeah. Um, I, you asked me if you could help me pick the people. And I said, yes, you can pick the people. But now, with that comes responsibility. Sometimes people change their mind, though. During the dance concert, each one of you will be performing this 45-second audition for a solo at Nationals. Go through your routines. I want to see 45 seconds of our choreography that you feel is your best work. Now, moms. My staff isn't gonna look at them. I'm not gonna rehearse them. It's up to you. I don't wanna see them prior to the dance concert on Saturday. At the dance concert, I will be executioner, judge, and jury. Just me. Now, Maddie, you are exempt from this audition. You are a shoe in for nationals. But if a job comes up, I need somebody ready to do their number. Keep your eye on the prize, and that's winning nationals. I have two solos to give out for nationals. I'm looking for number one performers to go to nationals. Never had a solo at nationals. Maybe this is your year. So you... sometimes Abby just picks her favorite. You may have to face many defeats, but you will not be defeated. I'm more determined than ever to show Abby that I'm ready to do a solo at nationals. When I discussed it with Nia, she said, 
She was choosing her solo from last week because that was the most successful solo. They had lots of things going for it. She won last week with this dance, so why not this week? Hi, guys. I'm still going to be working at the desk, so why don't you guys start doing solos and stuff? You're a thing this week. This is your shot. I want to help you guys, but I can't. Maddie, since you're not doing this little activity, why don't you play the music? Yeah, Chloe and I have been playing music. Abby's focused on the dance concert, so the moms have to get the girls ready for this 45-second challenge. You are all vying for a chance to compete at nationals. This is the last chance you get to show Abby you have earned a place. This 45 second solo is really important to me. I've never had a solo at nationals before and it would mean a lot to me if I did. Nia's trying to stay positive. She wants to prove to Abby she is a soloist for nationals. It's the 2014 annual dance concert. We are sold out. The pressure's on for these kids because I'm choosing who's gonna do a solo at Nationals. Are you guys nervous for 45 seconds? I'm a little nervous because, you know, sometimes Abby doesn't pick, like, the best dancer. She just picks, like, whoever she wants to pick, you know. I'm worried about who Abby's gonna choose because she's making the decision and there's no other judges. So even if you did the best, she might not even pick you. This is important 45 seconds of, of your dance life. life. Yeah. Of your life. Dance life. Yes. Not life life. Well, you know what I mean. So nail it, OK? I'll be out there rooting for you. Kendall is being looked at as the possible sub for Maddie if Maddie is not going to be at the national competition. She either steps out on the stage and is a better dancer than she's ever been before, or she flubs up and she's just another 11-year-old in Maddie's shadow. Mackenzie has moved up to an older age division now that she's 10 years old. So her chances of getting a solo at nationals are slim to none. She needs to step out on that stage and do something that is mature, something that is flawless. I gotta get you out of my system. I gotta get you off of my mind. But how do I move on when no one compares? But I chose to give it up. I hold Mackenzie to a much higher standard. She was not together. Your face, when I messed up, your face was like this. Mackenzie, don't cry. Don't cry if you say that. for this 45 second challenge. Abby has made it clear that she's the judge, the jury, and the executioner. I'm just thankful that Ed Cameron's one of her favorites. Cameron fell out of her turn. I think Mia has a good shot of getting a solo. I saw some things I loved. Some of the dancers projected all the way to me. I could see their facial expressions. I could see changes in the emotion. That's gonna be important when they're performing. I want our best shot at winning to be out on that stage. I don't think the moms are gonna like my critiques, 
but I don't really care. I'm the dance teacher, and I know what it's gonna take to win at nationals. Please don't come and ask me later about the solos. Don't pressure me tonight. I'm not going to make a hasty decision and just blurt something out in front of the moms. I want to think about this. Did she say anything on your critiques about Cameron blowing her turns? No. Because she's like the Maddie of the select team. Like, she can't see Maddie's tickled feet. She can't see Cameron's mistakes. Cameron did cover it well. No, it was well, blatantly that's a, obvious. That's a trained eye right there. We all saw it. She did cut it well. Saw it. However, no, I, I know. I know. Abby sees what she wants to see. Just like when Chloe beat Cameron and she didn't think it should work out that way and she went to the judges, this wasn't cut and dry like she expected it to be yep. and now she's backpedaling. The favoritism is crystal clear. Jody is okay playing along with Abby's fabricated worldview. The kid did not give a flawless performance, but I think as long as Jody's benefiting from the whole experience, it's all okay. And that's not right. Reading the critiques from Abby, the chances of her doing a solo at nationals are pretty zero to none. That just makes me sad. I know. It doesn't take away anything that you did last week. I told your mother in the audience, what did I look at you and say? I said, I did the best. I did. I know that I don't count, and I know I'm not nationals. That doesn't take anything away from you. Chin up, and you go out there, and you do better than you ever could have imagined, right? We barely had Abby's attention when she had one team. This mini team is not a good idea. This mini team will be a distraction. Hi, girls. How's everybody? Good. As you kids audition, you will understand it's not always your dancing. It's not always your talent. It could be about your mother. All right, so this is a learning process, OK? Let me see. One, two. You two, come on out. When I started this whole thing, Mackenzie was six. Maddie was eight. I have a whole crop of those kids coming in. They are starving for my attention. These little minis, somebody could be the next star. So that's where I'm going. I'm going back to the beginning. And it's those little minis that are going to carry on my name and the brand of the ALDCLA. The mini moms and the mini kids are a big distraction. Abby's in over her head right now. She can't handle everything that's going on personally. We need to put aside our petty differences and worry about our girls. One and two, three and four and five, six, seven, eight. Where's the other kid? You do an inside attitude turn, you stay in releve and you step through. Does that make sense? Yeah, does that make sense? Okay. Teaching minis is certainly not like teaching the junior elite competition team. They're just starting out in this competitive world. And I want these kids to join the other kids and attend the dance competition, but not compete. They're going to experience the whole ALDC competition weekend. Boom. There you go. The team members may change. Some may come, some may go. But they'll be representing me. Who can handle the pressure of the competition? That's a big issue. Oh, we got a crier. What's wrong, honey? Why are you crying? Come on, baby, you can come over. It's OK. Come here now. She's been She's, She doesn't want to be here. You should have relaxed. OK. I think I can do it. What do you mean, you can do it? You want to go? Yeah, we'll go. Did one little mini come out? What's going on? Little six-year-old wants to leave. So she cool. has been crying for two hours. What's the matter? She wants to go home. Minis are so much work. They learn slow. They're high maintenance. They are going to eat up so much of Abby's time. Minis are babies, and this is what happens. Hey, I heard my six-year-old was missing. You are probably going to be the best one in that class because you have the nice straight legs. You're the right height, you're the right look, you're adorable, your legs are straight, your feet are pointed, so breathe. I think it would be really beneficial to your training to just sit in there and watch what the girls are doing, and then you can leave right after that, I promise. 
Peyton is six years old. She is a true mini. She has a lot of talent. OK. All right, I like your outfit. So our kids can't do work because she's doing something else with other kids? That's not right. That's wrong. I'm sorry. My issues also with Abby is that she has this studio that she wants kids from little till they get older, but yet when they get older, she like, disposes of them. It's ridiculous. So I think we need to get you some turn classes. All right, ready? Oh my god, she's in love with that kid. She loves her. Do you think she loves Bryn? She loves that kid. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Abby Lee, please? This is Abby Lee, hello? Hi, Abby. My name's Blake Morris. I'm the father manager of 11-year-old internet artist Maddie B. Maddie B? You know who he is? Yeah, Maddie B. I'm like freaking out right now. I'm a huge fan of Maddie B. He's like one of my favorite singers on YouTube. I wonder what he wants. For this music video, they're picking a lead girl. And this girl is going to sing vocals on the record. If my girls want to be stars, they better get acting like it right now. All right, so what we're looking for is it's basically like this. There's one girl who's going to be Maddie B's lead girl, OK? That's kind of the, the main role that everyone's competing for. And then there's going to be three more girls who will be kind of the waitresses in the video, kind of like level two. And then the rest of the girls will be level three. We want to see what you guys, how you interpret the music and what you would bring to the set. So let's go one at a time. Keep it upbeat, keep it fun, but don't, don't rely on your tricks because there's going to be little to no tricks in this. This one's the really sassy one. Great performer. I think there's a definite role for that. Next. Maddie B is one of my favorite singers. He's so cute, and I just really hope that they pick me because it would be awesome if I could be in his video. More confidence. Was that on purpose in the fall? Yeah, but it was an executed one. She's not the oldest, but she gives me an older vibe. A little more mature. Just doing everything I asked him to do right now. <laughs> this is all the tricks. Don, no, hold on. Mason, come on the floor. Go. She's uncomfortable. I'll show you the difference. Watch. Mackenzie, thank you. Jojo, come out. Jojo, stay there, keep dancing. Mackenzie, join in. Jojo's working for it now. <laughs> Thank you. Now we're gonna be focusing more on the vocal talent, and we'll just do like a little acapella audition. I just wanna dance, turn out the track and party. Let me see your hands. Turn up the track, yes, turn up the track. Turn up the track and party. Let me see your hands. Turn up the track, turn up the track. Very nice. I just want to dance. Turn up the track and party. Let me see your hands. Turn up the track, turn up the track. Let me see your hands. Turn up the track, turn up the track. Let me see you dance. There you go. Turn on the track, turn up the track. Let me see your hands. Turn on the track. Turn up the track. Thank you, Jojo. And Miss McKenzie. Miss Music Video Girl, let's hear it. I just wanna dance. Turn up the track and party. Let me see your hands. Turn up the track, turn up the track. All right, very nice. Thank you. Is that everyone? Did we get everyone up? So why don't we do this? Let us talk it over a little bit. Cool? All right. Thank you, girls. 
I really liked Mackenzie for the lead. She's Maddie B's size. She has experience doing videos. But I'll tell you who gave her a run for her money. Oh, yeah. That's JoJo. Now, I thought JoJo uh, was really, really good. Um, might be a good fit with her expression from just from a personality standpoint. I feel like JoJo out out wanted it today. I think Mackenzie could have stolen yeah. that part, but JoJo is competing, so I'm really back and forth between Mackenzie and JoJo. Well, perhaps Mackenzie went into this thinking, well, I'm the artist in this group, and... Yeah, no, that I type of stuff, this in the bag. it doesn't work that way.